Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today I'm returning to a game that I haven't played in quite a while. It might, be, it might have been over a year by now. Um, but this is uh, a game that was on my top five most played lists of last year. And it was a game that uh, I thought was interesting in a lot of ways. I don't know what it really has to say about the politics of the French Revolution, other than it seems to be unremarkably pessimistic about uh, the French Revolution, uh, and and really loves to dive down into the into the abyss of the horror, which was certainly uh, known as the horror for a reason. Uh, but this is a game called We the Revolution, which is a game where you are a judge in the revolutionary tribunals of France, and you are trying to navigate the various political factions during the revolution as you attempt to sort of rise to power yourself. Uh, and in our last episode, which was, like I said, a while ago, I think it was episode number 18 of our series, uh, we tried Robespierre. We were unable to execute him, uh, so we are you know, well into the revolution. Robespierre has fallen from power, but we were unable to execute him because if we did, the royalists would have killed us. So we had to sort of uh, buy our time and acquit him in the trial. Uh, since then, Robespierre has fled from Paris, so this is the hierarchy in France right now. You can see a lot of the folks uh, who are influential figures in the French Revolution have died. Roland uh, was sentenced to the guillotine. Uh, Burel fall, fell early in the revolution uh, during some riots that occurred, uh, in part due to me. Um, Pache and Gobel uh, were both killed. Pache was sentenced to the guillotine. Gobel was shot. Uh, Danton was tried and escaped from Paris as well for similar reasons as Robespierre, and Hanriot fell in battle in our last episode. Um, and so we are picking up at this stage as we attempt to repair our public image. Uh, the acquittal of Robespierre has cost us dearly with the revolutionaries and with the common folk. The common folk think very lowly, low of us. If we get all the way down to the far left here, they will uh, hire someone to kill us probably. And the revolutionaries have a middling opinion of us. They both thought very highly of us before last turn, but the acquittal of Robespierre really shifted things. Now, the one positive that came out of the acquittal of Robespierre is the aristocrats have a very high opinion of us right now. And so that gives us uh, some positive effects uh, with the aristocrats in uh, you know, our own reputation. So we have a plus three of the aristocrats endorsement. Our influence is negative one. The revolutionaries have a negative one uh, opinion of us, or, or negative two opinion of us, and our reputation is negative one. You can see our reputation is one. That's represented by this bust over here. Uh, sections taken over in the town, about half of them by the looks of it. Uh, and Or sorry, two sections, which gives us plus three influence. And then our... Um, Again, our reputation is just sort of middling at the moment. We've killed a lot of people. You can see up here the number of death penalty sentences we've issued out. We've also acquitted a fair number of people as well uh, in, this, uh, in this French Revolution. Only a few have made it to prison. Very shortly after the game started, we stopped sending people to prison. Uh, the game started making us kill people. Um, we have unfinished construction of an important monument. That's going to give us a negative reputation, common folk, revolutionary, and influence. We have good relations with our father. That gives us a plus one. Our position in the hierarchy is getting stronger, which increases our reputation. There are rumors, however, that we're a counter-revolutionary, which undermines a lot of that reputation. That's largely due to the fact that we let Robespierre go. Um, and that's the situation as we find it right now. We are faced with yet another trial in front of us. Uh, and in this case, we have... Uh, Charles Edemine compiled the case, and let's see what is up. Uh, the case is a threat to road safety and destruction of property. Those are the accusations. A carburelet belonging to Mar the Marquis uh, Lenigan fell off the Pont de Logan. Back into French pronunciations, I shouldn't try this. Uh, fell off something into the water. Uh, luckily, there were no passengers in the back, and the, ca and the cartier managed to jump from the cart when it was still on the bridge. Only the horse died drowning in the Seine. Oh, that's sad. So you can see here we've got this little, whoops, this little icon here about the horse dying in the Seine. Um, the Marquis called for compensation for the carriage and the horse from his coachman, uh, Lucien uh, Bobois. Of course, Bobois did not have the required thousand, uh, thousands of francs and could not pay his debt. The Marquis filed a lawsuit against him, demanding that the coachman be sentenced to jail. Citizen Bobois claims that the incident was a result of a series of un unfortunate incidents. First, let us quote, All of a sudden, 
there was another cart on the bridge, hurtling at me like the devil. The defendant strongly pulled on the reins, startling the horse, which then turned to the side and started running straight at a crowd. Uh, the individual stated that uh, he pulled the reins further aside and the cart struck the railing and fell into the water. Uh, he has repeated numerous times that he broke his wrist when jumping from the cart. So, we know that the horse died. That's one piece of evidence. Uh, we know that there are thousands of francs that are required uh, in order to pay for the horse. This is what his uh, owner, the Marquis, is demanding. Uh, we know that the cart struck the railing, and we know, or that's the story anyway, and we know that the individual broke their wrist when jumping from the cart. Okay... Okay, so that's the information we have at this moment as part of the case file. Uh, there's some news that came up. I did not meet my obligation to finish the construction of the statue in Paris, or uh, Paris is disappointed. Okay, uh, I don't. Do I have any other evidence? Please introduce yourself, Lucien Babos. I'm a coachman. How long have you been doing it? Not long. I cared for the horses before and only started riding the cart over a year ago on my 19th birthday, but I usually rode around the property, not in the city. Uh, the Marquis demands compensation for the cart and the horse. Sure he does. He now, or he now, now he only has four carts and 30 horses. I would like to pay him back, but even with a good hand, I couldn't save that much money in the near future. You should have, bought, should have thought about that on the bridge. Okay. So the jury has not yet revealed what they would like to see occur. The common folk would like to see us acquit him. Now remember, the common folk have the lowest opinion of us, and one of the important things in this game is managing your relations with the different groups. So it probably would behoove us to acquit. Um, the revolutionaries and the aristocrats, however, are behind execution. There is no imprisonment. Seems silly to execute someone over something like this. Now if we do go with the, the uh, execution, we will have a very high opinion likely with the aristocrats and a, very, and a high opinion with the revolutionaries, but our common folk opinion would drop pretty considerably. Um, let's go ahead and start trying to unlock different questions that we can ask. So we know that the horse is a piece of evidence. Um, is the horse the victim? There's two traps and there's one and there's there's four potential questions to reveal. Um, thousands of francs. I don't really feel like it's a victim. I guess it could be course of events. No. So I made my one possible mistake. That basically means I can't make any others. Broken wrist, I guess, would be. I don't even know. Is that a course of events or victim? Fucking A. I didn't unlock any questions. That's real great. Now, if I... If I, I can't ask any questions. All right. It's been a while since I played this game. Let's do this. Let's go back to the menu and let's reload. I know that's a little bit cheap, but... Um, we're going to do that anyway. It's been a long time since I've played, so I'm trying to remember sort of the the clues that they give you in terms of, um, you know, what you need to be, be aware of. All right, so we'll get through the questions again real quick, just the intro. Uh, then we'll go into the questions. Broke the wrist. I guess that could be course of event, right? It's not it's certainly not method. Okay, it is. It is course of events. So horse could either be. So now we have one of the potential four questions answered. Thousand francs is not really a victim. I don't think it's a method. Could be course of events. I can't remember what I asked last time. Um, it's not railing, I don't think it's railing or crowd. I think these are the three. It's either method or course of events for the horse. The horse is the victim, you think? Nope, horse is not the victim. You're wrong there, Charcoal. 
<sighs> I mean, the horse is a victim in many ways, but not in this case, apparently. It's apparently a course of events. So broken wrist and horse have both been unlocked. Thousand francs is apparently not course of events, so we did we did eliminate that by um, asking our other questions. So it's either victim or method. Fuck, it was victim. How is the money the victim? What the fuck? All right, well, at least we have a couple of questions we can ask. Uh, did you break your wrist when you jumped from the carriage? Yes, sir, you can see how swollen it is. It hurts all the time and stops me sleeping. Was the Marquis interested in your health? He didn't say anything to me. I mean, I haven't seen him at all. His servant came to me, the one responsible for his money affairs, and told me I have to pay the Marquis back, which you did not do. Well, no, sir, next time he came with a guard. Can you drive a carriage with a broken wrist? What kind of question is that? Sir, I wouldn't even be able to slice bread if it weren't for the help of my old mother. You could sell something to pay your debt. I could, but I wouldn't have enough for a shirt or a wooden bowl. All right, this guy seems like a victim. The jury's opinion is that we should do an acquittal. I think I can probably ask one more question without, um, without changing the jury over to execution here. And I'm asking the question primarily because I, I don't want to make a, a ruling too soon. That can make the jury think it's sort of a miscarriage of justice where you haven't asked enough questions. Okay, so there we go. We got the additional question. The jury still wants the acquittal. The acquittal will help. Will make the common folk happy. I don't want to make them too unhappy. Their opinion of me is already low. The revolutionaries will probably drop to low, but I think the uh, aristocrats will stay. Will be still medium. So I think it's a good balance there. If we go to protocols, did the victim confess to the crime? Sort of. Not really. I didn't really get to that question. Uh, no, not counter-revolutionary nature. Why did he pull on the reins? I think it was a child ran in front of the horse. It wasn't a, a loud rumble. I don't think, anyway, if we go back to this. Pulled on the reins. There was another cart. Oh, there was another cart on the bridge. Okay, never mind. Uh, thugs from the Marquis threatened the defendant, saying that they would break his other arm, throw him into the river, and shoot him. I don't remember what his answer was. Uh, shoot. Read me back the statement from the court. Yes, Charcoal, you like that uh, little uh, that little pun? Miscarriage of justice dealing with the miscarriage of a carriage. Damn it. I didn't read what he was saying to me. Or wait, so. No, oh, next time we come with the guards. It doesn't say what the guards threatened to do. There must have been another question to ask. Only the horse. I mean, he didn't really... I wouldn't call it a crime, but I guess he did admit it happened. Um, I'm going to guess they would throw him into the river. But maybe they would try and kill him. We'll see. Verdict. Acquittal. Let's see what happens. What's going to happen? Oh, okay. Now we have some other cases to review, either acquit or execute. These are just three short cases where we get a description and have to make a decision on what to do. Uh, Gilbert, Gilbert uh, a breeder of animals raised and killed for their fur, paid a significant amount of money to Deputy Gatian Pasquier, who in exchange was supposed to convince his colleagues to vote for a rise in duty for furs imported from the Eastern, or from Eastern Europe. That sounds like an execution there. That sounds like corruption right there. Uh, makes the revolutionaries happy. 
Uh, Marcel Lucy broke down a door during, to an apartment he intended to rob. Its owner was out of Paris at that time. The thief did not manage to steal anything since the alarmed neighbors entered the apartment and restrained him while he was searching for loot in the owner's bedroom. That feels like a death penalty. All right, so the common folk are supportive of that. Nobody else is too upset. Officer of the guard, Barbel Digier, refused to chase a thief who had stolen the chest full of buns from the confectioner. Uh, Digier explained that a young man had been shot in the knee with an arrow. Arrow to the knee! Um, yeah, that feels like an acquittal. Apparently the revolutionaries don't like me acquitting someone who can't run because of a arrow to the knee. But hey, whatevs. No one's going to murder me yet. At least not these folks. Risk of death is low. The accident on the bridge was only due to the unfortunate circumstances. You're free to go. The judge rubbed the snobbish aristocrat's nose in the filth. Poor thing, he will have to sell his silver spoons to buy a new cart. Did you really believe him? Sooner or later, we will see him here again. Only next time it will be because he have run someone over. Maybe. All right, so we've got four of the five questions right over here on the left. He didn't confess to the crime, so my guess there was wrong. Uh, you can see here between all the different uh, cases here, the common folks' opinion of me goes way up. Revolutionaries, meanwhile, not so much. Uh, same as the aristocrats. Plus two to reputation due to the report. Plus two to influence. Uh, and the jury, there's no, there's no influence on the jury. So that's a good result. It was a good balancing act, I think, of what the jury wanted uh, and also what the people wanted without getting anyone too upset with me. Okay. Your eyes were never so empty. But today, I want you to be proud of me. Come with me, Monsieur Le Juge. What the hell? I've, am I arrested? What's going on? Why did they just break into my home and beat me up? Son. Welcome, brother. You were in the dark for so long. Bruno? Is that really you? You were told what you were supposed to think. I had to die as our father's favorite son so that I could be born again. I don't understand. What's the meaning of all of this? While you have been leading a comfortable domestic life, I was crawling in the mud of a battlefield. We all thought you were dead. It was much easier that way, wasn't it? I was dead, and have been through hell, dear brother. Kali abandoned me. Every door closed at the mere sound of my name. That was when hell reached for me. I enrolled in the army, hoping for a noble death. Instead, I was captured, taken, and I suffered. The enemies played a game of dice with me. If I won, I would be free. But for each round I lost, I would also lose bad. I won the first one. But the second... I was able to escape, then started planning my revenge on our family, our father. On everyone who had disowned me. Revenge? On us? You should lay the blame on Clement Rinard. I blame you all. Father, you, France. You want to hurt your own family? You disowned me, as God disowned Cain. Father abandoned his own son, and you did not even try to defend me. I was young. Now you are an adult, 
and our father will watch your fall from grace as far down as you can go. He will eventually abandon you as he did me. I have realized that death will not hurt him as much as watching his other son reach the bottom and become a villain too. And you did extremely well. You destroyed them. The Roland. Pash and his daughter. Gobel and his bastard son. And now, Robespierre. You did everything according to my plan. All I needed to do was awaken your desire for power. I made sure that you would fall with me, right before Father's eyes. Now, he will see that we are equal. Was my son's death also part of your plan? I executed him through the hands of Romard and your beloved mentor. I visited him and made him believe the story of his imprisoned son. Then he also became one of us, a villain. He helped me to kill your child in order to save his own. See, I needed my own revolution. A place for people you call criminals, because they do not fit in your society. I lead an army of outcasts in Paris. An army of the sons and daughters left behind after you decapitated their mothers. People who have lost everything because of the revolution were expelled, forced to move to a foreign land. In a few days, we will attack Paris and build a new home on its ruins. A place where our father will always keep an eye on both his sons. Are you insane? Wait until you hear what I intend to do with your second son. He has not done anything! He must pay for the sins of his father. Everyone must. Just as I paid for the cowardice of ours. He will play two rounds of dice. Each round you lose, he will lose a hand. That is the same price I had to pay. And now it's your son's turn. The price is suitable for the sins you are guilty of. You have killed every person that would be brave enough to face me. Thank you. This is kind of fucked up. Uh, I don't even remember my brother being a big part of the plot. This is confusing. Okay. Um, I guess we got to roll the dice. I don't even remember how to play. This is a problem. Thank you. I haven't killed half the people you said I killed. All right. Let's see, let's see how staged this is. Yeah, so I get basically all low numbers. I'll save those rerolls because having four of or five of a kind is pretty decent. And watch, he, dro he drops all sixes and fours. This feels very rigged. Oh, I've read the Count of Monte Cristo Tin Flash. I just don't remember it. Yeah, seriously, this thing is... And he gets all... Like, this is just not even... Don't even try and tell me that this is anything but determined. I roll three ones again! This is absurd. Don't give me a game a chance if it's rigged. There's literally no suspense. I'm getting my ass handed me so badly. 
Oh, we'll give you a few fives and sixes on the last roll as if it means anything. Silence him. It is not over yet. Okay. We'll play another game here, another fake game. You think that you know what it means. Look, all twos, threes, and fours. Uh, holy hell. He's up 120 on the first roll. He's not even re-rolling anything. He's just dropping bombs. You will fail and break our father's heart. Only then will my revenge be complete. <sighs> Are you kidding me? It's rigged to kill him. Well, how am I supposed to kill him if it's rigged? All he needs is a 120. Pretty sure he just got it. We are done here. Yep, so my son loses both hands. Great. We settled the first score. But that is not all I have prepared for you. Far Consider this a massive eye roll. Idiotic features of a game. If you're going to include a game of chance and the opponent's going to roll fives and sixes every single time. I played through it twice, and it wasn't even remotely close. My friend. That's just absurd. He saved me. He saved my son. But he could not save what was already broken into a million pieces. Her eyes were not empty. Her eyes. Yeah, okay, whatever. Seriously, I, I mean, that there was no chance. He rolled all sixes and fives the first three rolls, pretty much. And I got all ones and twos, and I re-rolled, and they were still all ones and twos. And we played through it twice. Fake minigame games of chances are stupid as fuck. Just to have him chop his hands off and try, you know. They didn't even make it close. The true enemy. Okay. Yeah. No shit that my son and my wife are pissed off. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to play this mini game. Symbol of the revolution's victory has been completed. The completed monument is already beginning to attract curious Parisians. Your brother's army will arrive in four days. Okay, what do I have to do before that? Um, all right, everybody, that's going to do it for episode number 19 of our look at We the Revolution, a uh, story-based game where you're a judge during the French Revolution with a quasi-historical plot. The plot obviously has gone off the rails. My brother is apparently a maniac. My son's hands have been chopped off. Not a good episode for yours truly, and we'll see what happens when his army comes in the coming days. Uh, with that being said, I did want to return to this. It had been a while since we played, but I, I remember enjoying it a lot. There's some 
I have some issues with the game, but it is still kind of a, an enjoyable experience. So let me know if you want to see more of this. I know the views tailed off near the end of the series previously, but we, it's been a while, so it's, I want to know if you guys want to see more of this. But that's where we're going to leave things. We'll pick things up next time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.